Okay, just a few remarks about um, uh, syntax, uh, a couple of points to make, uh, to do with type bounds and uh, subtyping. So, um, uh, supposing we're subtyping a generic type, and uh, we've got this type uh, GN here, and it implements um, this interface OW, and uh, this is the interface here, which has got uh, a type uh, parameter T, which extends K and C, and uh, interface C there. And uh, it also, this thing uh, extends A, B, and C. So um, we're subtyping this uh, generic type. Now, um, uh, you've got to, uh, because we got this, um, first, well, the first thing to note is that um, uh, this interface down here, type, which uh, is a general form, it's not a parameterized type. Um, I'm, I'm using T, by the way, as a, um, as a type parameter everywhere, if that's not obvious. Uh, now this um, this uh, generic uh, type, this interface uh, here, um, is uh, is the generic form there, not a not a parameterized form, and so you've got to specify the type parameter for uh, the generic uh, class GN here. And uh, what's more, now up here you don't have to specify. In fact, you mustn't specify the bounds here. They're obtained uh, from the interface there. So. Uh, syntactic point I'm going to make is that you don't put the bounds in there because they're obtained from the interface there. So those bounds of K and C are obtained from there. And what's more, uh, down here you've got to specify some bounds and for this parameter T and what's more those bounds I've got to fit inside of the bounds for L. So the bounds for L are K and C and the bounds down here are M and C and they fit hopefully inside of uh, K and C. And how do you know that they fit inside? Well, one way to, to make sure they fit inside, one way that probably something like this, the compiler probably does something like this. It um, you take all the sub all the um, super types of M and you take all the super types of C and you put them together and you make sure that K and C lie in that set of all those super types. And if that's the case then the bound here fits inside of there. So anything you choose for parameter T here is going to be okay for the T up here because uh, that will make sure that it's within within those bounds which are fit inside of the bounds for L. That's why you have to do it. Right, um, what about this? If you're subtyping a parameterized type um, like N, we've chosen an N here uh, for the parameter and uh, once you uh, say L of N, of course, then it behaves like an ordinary, an ordinary type. And it's no different from any other ordinary type. And you can class H N implements that. You don't have to worry about any sort of parameters there. It's just behaving like an ordinary type. Okay, something you can't do, of course, is um, uh, put a uh, wildcard in there because that doesn't have any uh, meaning really. You can't have a wildcard type like that as a super type. You can't say anything like that. 